Okay, so I have a really powerful solar bill that's you're basically invincible. It's absolutely insane. It's using Lorely Splendor, Prometheus Lens, and Hez and Vengeance. The kinetic weapon doesn't matter. So my mark, I have powerful friends. This is useful for day one raiding, raiding in general, if you're playing pretty much any activity outside of being solo. I also am using Well of Life. That's very important. And also Trace Rival Scavenger is a must. Um, Thermoclastic Plating. This is using a seasonal mod. You can switch this out for Sniper Damage Resistance. The one I recommend. Because this is not as great at super long distances. But it's good at mid-range, close range. It's just it's a little tougher with Snipers. Also Trace Rival Reserves is highly recommended. And Heal Thyself is a must. Heal Thyself pretty much gets you at full health with a solar nade. Well, I think it's any grenade actually, but yeah, it's any nade, but I find that solar nades work the best because I use fusion grenades. Fusion grenades I am most comfortable with. I just don't like the other ones. Incendiary does not work well with this uh, because you like instant health. Also on the arms, I have elemental armaments. You can switch around the placement if you need, if you want to. But I have elemental armaments because I like using a concessive type. I don't use explosive wellmaker because I have found that a lot of the times it doesn't work well with Teraba, Prometheus lens, and that stuff. Which is why I really like using Prometheus lens for this. I think this really, really makes Prometheus shine. Uh, so yeah, I have elemental armaments here. The rocket launcher loader isn't necessary. You literally don't have to reload ever. Because for my Hezen, I have auto-loading and cluster bomb. And also have boss back on here. But And also with Prometheus Lens, I do have the catalyst done. Um, But yeah, basically it gives it subsistence, like majorly. So as long as you kill with it, you, you don't have to reload. With this build, you literally don't have to reload ever. Unless you run out of ammo for both weapons. But I have not ran into that problem yet. And also, for my helmet, I have Elemental Charge, Harmonic Siphon, and Trace Rifle Ammo Finder. These mods, these three mods are necessary. This was not necessary to have on the helmet, but these two, all three of these, you have to have these. Especially Ammo Finder. Harmonic Siphon is good because not only will I be generating wells, I will also be generating orbs of power basically charging up my super that's the only reason why i'm charging orbs and also it only costs one this is also necessary so i can actually do heal thyself other than that everything else isn't that necessary um if you're running solo you can switch out powerful friends for you can have a solar piece here that you can use supercharged or charged up which in case you don't know what this must do it increases the stacks that you can get and supercharged costs two and charged up costs no charged up costs two and supercharged costs five also if you want to boost your rocket damage without using like path of the burning steps or even if you don't have curious of the falling star or you don't like using bubble you can switch out Argent Ordinance if you have a solar piece as well. So that is something of note. And also, if you're not dealing with a whole lot of ads in the boss phase, you can switch this out, put like Sniper Damage Resistance on, or whatever, and then you can put on Argent Ordinance here. So I'm going to take this through the first part of the Legendary Campaign. Just so you can see how well it holds up. Which is not the hardest mission, but... None of the campaign missions are exactly super duper easy either. By the way, you can have any kinetic weapon up here. If you don't have Prometheus Lens, if you don't have the Catalyst done, or you want to use a different weapon... My next best recommendation would be to use Gallahorn instead. Eris and I are establishing hidden operations. And 
What's your location? If you don't have Galahorn, kind of none. Do I don't really like using any of the weapons with it, but Lord of Wolves age. can work. Mars has returned with temporal But I find a Trace Marvel has the best and ammo economy for me. Here is no coincidence. For whatever reason. We believe the reappearance of Mars drove her out of hiding, and our intel says she may be in a weakened state. The Cabal fleet is blocking the flight path onto her ship. That being said, you will need a loader mod on. This is if you don't want to reload or anything like that, you need Prometheus Lens. Also, I do know Sunshot probably most definitely works. I personally don't like using that gun, so. Before we get too far, though. As you can see, it doesn't work too well at long range distances. As you can see, Prometheus Lens does a decent amount of damage still, even for a trace rifle. I did have to reload there because I haven't killed an ad. Also, if you do want to use something different, there is a seasonal mod called Lucent High Finisher, which makes it to where Finishing Champions or Lucent Hive spawns heavy ammo for our teammates. Which is pretty powerful. Also, I'm not sure exactly why Sunspot spawned there, but okay, I'll accept it. Up idea. here, there is a sniper Get at the top to up there. After killing all the ads, I'll let my skull get damaged and show you how much heal thyself actually helps. As you can see, I already got healing active. I personally don't like using this for Cabal per se, but it works pretty well with them. Okay, sir, I don't know why you're there. Is he up there? Yeah, he is. Okay. I decided to make sure he was up there. Okay, so I'm gonna let him hit me. I missed for a second. I just need to kill some ads real quick. So yeah, you can kind of see how fast I'm regening. So I'm gonna hop out since I have my grenade ability already. It should still be up here, shouldn't it? Course. Okay. I'll let him hit me. Show you how much. He didn't even kill him. Okay. So you'll want to actually kill an ad with it. If I wasn't being so stupid, I definitely would not have died. But I need to. Got my health low enough. I'll just kill him about right. So we do have another ad here. After Queen Mara conducted that ritual, she's just waiting for it to charge. Into hiding. Actually, frick, I don't have my charge at light. Again so soon. Seems too reckless for a god of cunning. You can also do a burn. Yeah, this is how fast Laura Lake actually. I might insert a clip of the actual heal thyself actually being procced and active.
So yeah, that is kind of it. So now if any improvements can be made, just let me know. As far as other solar exotics go, at least from what testing I've done, Tiku's doesn't work as well. Devil's Ruin, I haven't tested it af like recently. I personally don't use this gun, but this will probably work. Ariana's Vow would work. Lord of Wolves would work. Yoten would work. I just like using Trace Rifles the most for this. Vex would probably also work. Tiku's, I think, is a little bit slow as far as getting solar kills, even though it has a nice distance, so you could also use that. But yeah, that's it. A really, really, really solid solar PVE Titan build. So if any improvements can be made, let me know. On that note, thanks for watching.